their friends. It's Emma here, the bookish princess. I'm pretty excited about my package and I thought I would bring you guys along for a Fortnum and Mason haul. So at Christmas time, I ordered some Fortnum and Mason teas and a teapot as a present for my brother. But I guess you could say it was sort of addictive placing an order and getting a Fortnum and Mason box because I decided that I wanted to get some teas. Also, they have a huge selection of biscuits. I always love going to Fortnum and Mason um, in London. Like I've loved visiting that store. My brother loves it too. That's why it was such a special Christmas present. But since travel is still restricted and I have no idea when I'll get to go back to London, I thought I would treat myself to a little virtual Fortnum's visit. I'm going to make all of this last one and two. I did get some more presents for people, so not all of this is for me. I'm definitely gonna share. On the Fortnum and Mason website, when you put your address in and you put like the title, you know, Miss, Mister, there is a huge drop down menu with like Colonel and the Reverend and like Duchess. There might even be one for the Queen, Your Majesty, because the Queen does shop at Fortnum and Mason. In fact, look at this. I decided to get some High Grove uh, shortbread. High Grove is um, the estate owned by the Prince of Wales. Fortnum and Mason sells like High Grove honey and all sorts of things, um, you know, made with ingredients. From the High Grove Estate, look at that, Royal Organic Foods. I love it. Here we have Fortnum and Mason Explorers Biscuit Selection. Isn't this great? I'm totally keeping this tin forever. But look at this. Here's the, the biscuits that we have in there. Maple and pecan, Earl Grey shortbread, English honey, triple chocolate, Choco Lossus, one of the best names ever. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try this. And to go with this, I also bought oh, a Somme Superb. I have, I have had this one before. It is absolutely superb. It is one of my favorite teas ever. And Queen Anne, oh, you know what? I must have decided on the Albion instead because there is an Explorer's Collection tea that I almost bought and I'm realizing now I must have gone with the Albion because look at this tin. I bought this partly for the tin. Oh, with the ships, how amazing is that? For extraordinary tea times, ever so English, oh my gosh. Oh, it's got like a little compass on the top. Oh my gosh, look at the back. Oh, it's Fortnum and Mason. Oh, I'd see on the website, they only show you the front. And I was like, oh, that tea tin looks amazing. And here it's even more amazing on the back. Look at the ladies having their tea. And all oh, those, those, those um, lamps, there, there are Mr. Darcy-esque um, footmen in Fortnum and Mason, the statues of footmen <laughs> uh, in the staircases that look just like that. Ah, oh, the tea fields. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yes, Queen Anne, doesn't that sound lovely and wonderful? I love what they have um, on the back of their of their tea bags. Here, can you guys can you guys read that? It's too shiny. At Fortnum's, tea is for more than just sipping, it's for life. And as it has been since 1707, our belief is simple. Whatever the occasion, wherever the location, there is no greater pleasure than taking time for tea. Set the kettle boiling, ready the pots and cups, and enjoy. Ah, I love that. 10 out of 10 to the Fortnum and Mason copywriter. I approve. <laughs> this is also loose leaf tea. I went for all loose leaf tea. This is the royal blend, so see, I bet. The queen, the Duchess of Cambridge, maybe they drink this. Ah, uh, Fortnum and Mason, Piccadilly, London. Once opened, store in an airtight container, preferably a tea caddy. Well, I could finish, you know what I should do? Maybe I'll finish the Albion tea first, and then once I finish this, I can transfer the Royal tea to um, my beautiful Albion pot. Oh, here I should be reading you guys the descriptions. In, so for the Royal blend, in this classic Fortnum's blend, low-grown flowery peco from Ceylon lends an uplifting note to the maltier Assam to make a very traditional cup of tea. Well, I love the Assam Superb, so I bet. Superb, Assam Superb. Why am I saying superb? I'm just trying to sound fancy. First blended for King Edward VII in the summer of 1902. Royal Blend has been popular ever since for its smooth honey-like flavor. That sounds so lovely. 
Here's their, I don't think there's a description of these because they're just bag tees. You know, like the wall of tees, I'll have to put in a picture here. There's like a wall of tea tins when you go to um, the actual Fortnum and Mason in Piccadilly. They also have an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous treat counter, not just with biscuits. Usually I go for like the freshly baked treats. There is like one time we got a box of mini cupcakes and there are so many other absolutely beautiful things. And like downstairs in the food hall, they have beautiful pies and amazing things, which obviously I just restricted myself to tea because I felt like that would <laughs> travel best. Here, let's, let's um, read the description for the Albion blend. A wonderfully strong British brew brought to Piccadilly from far afield. This blend of malty Assam and bright Kenyan teas is delicious with milk and is a perfect dunking partner to our buttery county biscuits. Well, I'm glad I got some biscuits because we'll definitely have to have that with the Albion and then this last um, small box. I decided since I had bought my brother the teapot that he should have one of these to go with it. I bought these as a treat for him, but I also bought them because it was a pleasure to me to buy them. <laughs> So this is the beautiful little, we'll unwrap it. I'm sure Porthos won't mind. I'll have to make sure I give this to Porthos before I upload this video or else I will spoil his surprise. This is such a fun memory though because when you go into Fortnum and Mason, I have always loved um, the trick, the table in the tea section. So next to that wall of, you know, the wall of tea canisters, they have a table full of gleaming silver tea strainers. So now Porthos has the, have the teapot and the tea strainer and I expect to visit him and have tea with him. Maybe someday in the future I'll buy myself um, a Fortnum and Mason uh, tea, tea accoutrements because they're just such a pleasure and I mean so, so tied to my wonderful memories of going to Fortnum and Mason. So yes, there we go. A little Fortnum and Mason haul. Here I went ahead and looked up the description for the, the Queen Anne blend. Created in 1907, our bicentenary year, this popular blend commemorates the reigning sovereign in the year that Fortnum and Mason first began. The smooth blend of carefully selected TGFOP Assam and Ceylon FBOP teas produces a strong smooth tea refreshing at any time of day. And then the Assam Superb, here let's look up, let's search Fortnum's. Our aptly named Assam Superb is rich with body and flavor with a malty smoothness to boot. Bold and satisfying, it pairs perfectly with savory afternoon tea sandwiches like ham and mustard or smoked salmon. Hey, we're gonna have to make some tea sandwiches at some point, I think. There we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick Fortnum and Mason haul. See, look, it's right here. By appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, by appointment to His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, tea merchants and grocers grocers and provision merchants since 1707. What we need to do now, obviously, is brew ourselves a cup of tea.
wow, what a beautiful caramely color that is. That, my friends, is an exceptional tea. I thought Felicity's uh, tea set would be a good way to inaugurate um, the Fortnum and Mason tea. It smells so good. You know, mostly I drink berries tea. I love that they have that at the grocery store, the Irish breakfast, the gold blend. Love that tea. Yorkshire blend, also excellent. Lots of, lots of budget teas are really wonderful, but every once in a while, it's fun to treat yourself to a royal tea. <laughs> I'm going to read my Woodhouse. Meet Mr. Molyneux. And pretend that I'm in Piccadilly. 